In this video, I will show you how to plot a sphere in Genie, Octave, and MATLAB. Also, I can show you how to change the radius and center point of sphere and color and transparency. To support my channel, you know what to do. If you want to plot a sphere having a radius of 1, you can simply use a built-in function sphere. I would wipe up all the variables and close all the existing windows, if any, then simply tap sphere. For screen recording, I have to increase the figure window size and I have to add the line number 2, but please ignore this for your practice. I already saved this script so when I run this script, you can see the sphere in the figure window. However, the aspect ratio is not 1, so it shows the squeeze sphere. To have a perfect sphere, I will make the aspect ratio 1 by using axis equal. Also, another issue here is that it is hard to recognize the axis, especially x and y axis, I would like to add the X, Y, and Z labels. Now you can have X, Y, and Z in each axis, but the font size is too small to clearly read. So I will increase by using set function. So now my font size is 36, my line width is 2. Now you can easily recognize the conventional 3D Cartesian coordinate systems. To double check the origin of the sphere, you can rotate the sphere using the rotating icon on the top left corner of the figure window. I'm rotating a few different ways to confirm that the center is at origin. So you can use a mouse left button and drag it to change your angle. Now you can see you have Z versus X. I just wanted to show you y versus x from top. You can also use a built-in function view to see the plot from different angle. It requires the angle in horizontal and vertical directions, and 0, 0, means that you will look at the plot from z versus x coordinates. To see the projected plot for z versus y, you can turn 90 degree for x direction by using view 90,0 and again you can see that the center point is the origin. You can also see the projected sphere from top by rotating 90 degree for both horizontal and vertical directions then you can see the center point is at origin. Now the sphere shape is good enough but you can see some sharp corner here and there. So I'll plot it with a smoother surface. The sphere is visualized as a collection of multiple trapezoidal faces and if you want to make the smoother surface, you can add more trapezoids. The default numbers of trapezoids are 20 along polar azimuthal directions and now you can increase it to 50 to see the smoother surface. To change the radius of the sphere, you need to start generating coordinates for x, y, and z. In fact, the sphere function can generate such coordinates. As a default, it generates the coordinate of the sphere with the radius of 1 for the center point at origin. We can change the radius by manipulating the coordinates. To generate the coordinate x, y, and z for the radius 1 sphere, we can define x1, y1, and z1 followed by the sphere. In this case, it does not automatically plot the sphere, so you need to use either surf or mesh functions to plot. Both surf and mesh functions require the x, y, and z coordinate. I will add the coordinate to surf function. You can also do similarly for mesh function. Now you can see the same plot. To increase the radius, we'll use the linear algebra in other words, scalar multiplication. We can define the radius using the variable r, in this case 2, then we can multiply the generated coordinate by r to control the radius. 
Since you have a coordinate of the sphere with a radius of 1, you can increase the radius by having r greater than 1 and reduce the radius by having r less than 1. Now, I will create new variables x2, y2, and z2 by multiplying by r for x1, y1, and z1. I wanted to plot only radius of 2 sphere, so I can deactivate line number 4. And when you replot, you can see the increase of radius. Question comes, how to change the color of the sphere? You need to create a figure handling, H, from the serve function. Then you can use set function of the created of the figure handle, H, followed by face color red. You can also use B for blue. You can also use the several different colors, for example, M for magenta, G for green, K for black. You can find the color map in the description down below. You can also change the transparency by using face alpha followed by the intensity of the transparency. I'm going to use 0.5, meaning that we can have a 50% transparency. When you rerun it, you can see have transparent sphere plot. Now you can also move the center point of the sphere. By default, it sits in the origin, and using the linear algebra, you can move by adding the center point coordinate x0 and y0 to the existing coordinates. You can define variables of the center point x0, y0, and z0. If you want to move the center point to 1, 2, 3, I can define x0 equal to 1, y0 equal to 2, z0 equal to 3. Then you can add x0 into x2, y0 into x y2, and z0 into y2. But when you plot them, and you can see the radius of 2 with a center point at 1, 2, 3. What if you want to plot two spheres in the same figure window? You can use hold on between two serve functions. So now I'm turning on first serve function for the first sphere, followed by hold on. You can plot the second sphere. And when you read on this, you can see two spheres in the same figure window. Thanks for watching this video until the end and please subscribe my channel if to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.